a fish that talked. Long ago in India, there lived a young man named Manu. He was kind and good and loved by all the animals. One day, Manu was wading in a cool, clear stream when suddenly a shiny fish swam into his hands. The fish sparkled with a strange silvery light. Manu lifted his hands to take a closer look. To his astonishment, the fish spoke. Help! it begged. The big fish are trying to eat me. Manu was astounded. He had never even heard of a talking fish. The fish gave a shiver. You poor thing, said Manu, gazing down at the tiny, terrified creature. He couldn't put it back with the big fish. So... Holding it in his cupped hands, he carefully carried it home. There, he dropped the talking fish into a jar of water and fed it with crumbs. At once, the fish began to grow. It grew and grew until it was too big for the jar. So, Manu took the fish outside to the well and fed it with bread. Again, it grew and grew. Until very soon, it was too big for the well. So Manu carried the fish to the river. This time, he didn't feed it. But it still grew and grew and grew. Manu couldn't believe his eyes. Now, the fish was enormous. The fish was too big even for the river. Please take me to the sea, it begged. Manu groaned. He will weigh a ton. He thought, but aloud, he said, I will try. And amazingly, despite its huge size, the fish felt as light as air. Manu carried the fish to the seashore. He clambered over rocks to the edge of the deep water. Then he threw the fish into the foaming waves. Before it swam away, the fish looked at Manu and smiled. Thank you, it said. You are a good man. Now it's my turn to help you. There is going to be a great flood. You must build a boat to save all living things. The future depends on you. So Manu built a huge wooden boat. He filled it with plants and animals, from tiny ants to enormous elephants. Soon, dark clouds lightning flashed, and rain came lashing down. It rained and rained until water covered all the land, as far as anyone could see. Only Manu's boat floated above the waves, full of praying, honking animals. Then the wind hiked up and huge waves crashed around the boat. Manu bit his lip. We must find shelter, he realized, or we will sink. He frowned into the darkness and saw a strange silvery light. His frown faded. The talking fish was back. I have come to help you, it called. Throw me a rope. The fish pulled the boat through the storm. After many, many days, they reached a great mountain. Its top rose out of the flood like an island. We'll be, we'll be the safe now, sighed Manu. Suddenly, the fish changed. Then it spoke. I am Brahma, lord of all creatures, it said. Manu gasped and gave a deep bow. Brahma was a powerful coach. I have saved you so you can rebuild the world, said Brahma. And you, Manu, will be its king. Rule wisely, said Brahma, sternly, looking Manu straight in his eyes. I will, promised Manu. Brahma vanished in a flash of silvery light. Manu never saw Brahma or the talking fish again, but he never forgot what the god had told him. After the flood, he worked hard to rebuild the world, and he ruled wisely and well for the rest of his days. Did you enjoy the story? If yes, then like, share, and subscribe.